you, Toastmaster, honored guests, fellow Toastmasters. Do you suffer from disorganization with your files? Maybe a downloads folder with seven copies of the same thing in it? Or a desktop that's just got files everywhere to the point where you've given up on your desktop? Many of my clients have these issues, as have I, and they use different tools, whether it's their own computer or a cloud-based system like Dropbox or Google Drive. But there's a problem, it's a fundamental problem that almost everybody's experienced. If you're 25 years or older, you will totally understand why this problem existed, but you probably never thought about it. The problem originated when we actually introduced the personal computer into the workforce. We thought this great tool was gonna solve all our problems. But did it? No, it actually created a whole new set of problems. The main reason for that is because we abandoned some of our old practices. The old trusty file cabinet. Remember those? Does anybody remember a file cabinet? They had drawers, there were many of them. Some of them had blocks. And you put, hot, you put hang folders in them, and then you put manila folders in there, and you put files in there. And you didn't have to worry about file naming, because the file name was on top of the piece of paper that you had, and it was the same file all the time. Whether you worked in a doctor's office or an insurance company, Right. You might even have the job for your parents where you had to file every now and then for like five bucks an hour until you were bored out of your mind. So that's where the problem originated. What we need to do to fix that is to kind of go back to that old school file cabinet system. And this understanding of the file cabinet system will give you a greater clarity on how to name your files and how to create your folder structure. Right? So if you follow along with me, imagine your office space. You have your own desk, you have your own little file cabinet. We're going to get to that in a second. But then you also have departmental cabinets, right? You go in, you're the HR department, you have your file cabinets. It makes sense. That's your central database of information. That would be your top level folder. From there, you have your drawers. Your drawers are the subdivision of that department. So you might have human resources that does interviews. It might be the person that holds employee reviews, and so on and so forth. So your drawers are simply that subdivision. Deeper into that, you get into those old hang folders. Remember the hang folders, the one with the little prongs on the end? Those things are great because you don't want to just take files and throw them in a drawer. Then it looks like the junk drawer in your kitchen. And this is often what a lot of people suffer from, and you might be experiencing this as well. You have a file system like your downloads folder, and you just keep throwing stuff in. Right? So it's easier for you to go and download the file for the eighth time than it is for you to go into that messy drawer and pull out that copy. And you're not even sure if it's the latest copy because there's seven of them in there, right? That's the junk drawer. When you go to your junk drawer in the kitchen, it's the same thing, right? You're just digging through there. You don't even know how it all gets in there. And we end up giving up on it. And that junk drawer just, we abandon it and we create a second junk drawer, which is why you have a downloads folder and a Dropbox, right? Beyond that, you want these hang folders so that you can first organize and put these documents in there. And you're okay with putting one document in a hang folder. That's okay. But when they start piling up on you, you start using those old manila folders. They're not manila anymore, right? They're like manila and green and red and blue and whatever you can think of because we thought color coding would be awesome. <laughs> but it's not, not always. We need to get the fundamentals down. If you have three or five, three to five documents, it might be time to use the manila folder inside of the hang folder. So what you're seeing here is we're actually going from the highest level of folder and we're moving our way down. Now, the most important one in all of this it's not the file cabinet, that's not easy, that's easy. It's not the drawers, obviously every file cabinet has drawers. It's actually the hang folder. That's where most people get kind of screwed up. Because this is the part where you actually have to choose some organizational method. Whether it's in the HR department and you're choosing that we're gonna organize by employees, because that makes the most sense. Or maybe you're in the operations department and you're going to focus on reference manuals and those types of things. Or perhaps you're in sales and you're really just focusing on the forms and the tools that you use to sell and you need to organize those. So you might organize them by customer or project or event. This is the place where I invite you to take the most time to think about what you're gonna file and how you're gonna use hang folders. The manila folders are the flexible part. That's the part where you get to kind of play around a little bit and put as many folders as you need and dial back because the reality is if I go to the employee folder, I'm gonna find everything I need so long as that's correct, right? Now, where we've gotten even worse is the fact that back in the day, you couldn't fit video cassettes and CDs, remember those? And tapes and photos because they were just way too big and we would have boxes and things like that. But nowadays we have all of these files and they, they sit alongside of our documents. 
And that's the problem we have with trying to get even more organized. So I invite you to actually create a department, a new folder, a new, new, new uh, cabinet for media. It's the same kind of concept. So it doesn't really matter the files nowadays. The, man, the point is that you really have to find what cabinet you have, what the drawers are going to be. Take some time with your hang folders. Take some time and, and group your files into the, to the manila folders as you go along. And then finally, we get to the file name. Remember I mentioned that when you have a file back in the day, it had a title? That was it, that was the title of the file. Nowadays, if you download it from a program that gives it a title, then you might give it a title, and you might have a different title for it, and then it might be version one, version two, version five, so version eight, right? There's no rhyme or reason. This is one of the reasons we get all siloed with our information. So what we want to do is we want to take a little bit of time and actually look at that drawer and say, what kind of files go in here? And how many files do I have? You'd be surprised. In one department, you may only have 13 or 14 file types, which means that you could actually easily create some naming information for that. And that's how you would put them in there. That's how you would retrieve them quickly. Now, I did mention earlier, there is your personal desk in your file folder there. The big difference there is you're gonna use all the same system, except you're gonna create a high level separation. No one's allowed at your desk, that's yours. You get to lock it down, it's maybe your incomplete files, the things you're working on in drafts. Maybe the things you're not ready to share with the world, or if you're an Excel spreadsheet junkie, that might be where all of your Excel spreadsheets go. When you complete those files, that's when they go and you take them to that central database and you put them into the cabinetry. So it's the same concept, just a little bit of separation of church and state. So I would invite you to take a look at the files that you have right now on your computer, whether it's Dropbox or Google Drive, or just your own downloads folder and your own little desktop. Take a look at everything that you have and decide, if I had a file cabinet, what would it be called? What department would it be? What drawers would I have? And then finally, how would I organize those drawers? And then start putting your files in an organization pattern like that. Thank you.